Boy Meets Girl is, as far as I can tell from my research, the first film of its kind. It's, it is a, you know, pretty straightforward romantic comedy coming of age story starring an actual transgender actress. Um, I don't think there's ever been a movie like it. And it's, um, I think it's a really remarkable film um, in the sense that it's really not all that remarkable. <laughs> I mean, it's like, it's, if you take away, like just purely from a structural standpoint, it's a pretty basic romantic comedy. There's nothing particularly special about it other than the fact that you're watching these different sort of archetypes, these different groups of people who in a traditional sense would not be in the same social circles or be getting along in like a small town in, in Kentucky, you know what I mean? But that's the thing that's really cool about this, this film to me is that, I mean, the first 20 minutes of the movie you got, without giving too much away obviously, you have this... Uh, sort of, you know, you have this young transgender girl, you have this like Kentucky, you know, good old boy who's trying to sleep with everything that moves. You have this like rich um, daughter of a congressman, Republican debutante, I mean, you know, in a, in a rural Kentucky. And you think, all right, well, these are not people who would ever find themselves in the same room. And yet here we are just watching them just kind of hanging out. <laughs> I mean, and it's really cool and it's, it's seamless and it's nice. And it's like, it's just, a, it's, it's a really, nice film and I think it, 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 it can give people hope as far as like what this country can be and what humanity can be, what humanity is, is capable of at its best um, and ultimately, and, and it does explore the fact that these, these people are, are far beyond their seemingly one dimensional selves in the beginning of the film as people generally are <laughs> in real life. Um, and, uh, and, and, and the most rewarding thing about it to me was like, you know, we, we've played at LGBT festivals around the country and we've had a lot of trans people express to us, listen, you know, this film expressed outwardly things that I have been feeling inside but have been unable to express. It connected dots for me um, that I, I didn't realize were, were disconnected. So we've actually, it's actually sort of shifted people's lives in some way. Way. I mean, we have, I think the, you know, the craziest case of this was someone in San Diego who basically stood up after the film and said, this movie just saved my life. We're not, you know, we're, we're making movies here. We're not, like, I'm not curing any major diseases or anything. But I do feel like storytelling can move the conversation forward and at least at least plant some seeds it can plant some seeds for social change down the down the road um, and if a movie is any reflection of a society and of humanity and and where we're going you know this film makes a pretty optimistic case um, which is which is a wonderful thing hey guys this is michael welch make sure to check out boy meets girl coming out on april 28th vod and uh, on all digital formats